Surf's up, space ponies. It's me, Round the Wheel, and what are we looking at here? This is the Neolimix introduction pack. Neolimix, of course, as you know, if you are familiar with custom limbings, Neolimix is the only way to fly these days. That's, it's pretty much the optimal way to play limbings. It's not quite the same as playing the original. There are a lot of tweaks and quality of life things that make it not quite the same experience, but just optimized, you know? It's not necessarily better, but it's 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 better in a more modern design sensibility kind of way. It's just, it's more optimized. And I personally have never played a pack that got really deep into the Neo Lim Mix, into the specific features of it, like the jobs and the, and the additions that they've made. So, before I get way too deep into that kind of custom stuff, I'm going to ease in with the introduction pack. It's going to introduce us to uh, elements of Neo Limix, like some of the new jobs that have been created for it. Some, some of, it has the original eight, of course, but there are also some that have been ported over from Lemmings 2, and there are also some entirely new ones, and we're going to see all of that. There are 94 levels in this pack, uh... We have not really difficulty ratings so much as just like groupings of levels that show us what Neo Limix is all about. Like we have skills, objects and functions, and then a couple of a uh, couple of training regimens here. So we're going to start with skills and just ease ourselves into it. This is this is a good introduction to Neo Limix. Uh, whether you're playing it or whether you know you're just watching me do it or somebody else. Uh, so let's jump right into it. We're going to go just digging into Neo Limix with the new skills. Looks like just dig, but, you know, longer. Uh, this this pack is by uh, Ecotalot. I think I'm pronouncing that more or less right. Uh, 20 Lemmings, only got to say 5, and let's continue. Welcome to Neo Limix. The goal of the game is to lead a group of Lemmings from their hatch to the exit, help the Lemmings by assigning them skills. Each level can have a different selection of skills you can assign. The digger lets a lemming dig straight down, creating a tunnel that other lemmings will fall into. And if you ever feel overwhelmed in a level, you just press the space bar. I'm not going to middle click my scroll wheel. That's just going to make things weird. But you can press the space bar, take a deep breath, and take your time to get an overview. So let's jump right into it. I don't think I'm going to be too overwhelmed by a level that involves digging. So let's dig in the nook here. Uh, and that should be pretty good there. My jump a bunch of frames forward key is the number three. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have I have one for jumping back, I think, ten frames. And then two for going back one. So one, two, three are my jump forward frames. So all we got to do here, everybody is nice and secure in this tight little space. They'll walk over the little whatever this is this little halfling hobbit hole here this little uh weird looking mausoleum thing and there they go that's that's digging through neo Limix right there only 20 lemmings shouldn't take them long to get to the exit at all we're hearing our first yippies that's very nice very nice oh yes the long extended yippie when they're all grouped together in a big old bunch we only needed five, but we rescued all 20. We rescued every living on that one. Can we do it again? I feel confident that we can. Let's take a bash at it. So this is going to be bashers. 30 women's got to save 10. Next up, we've got the basher. The basher creates a horizontal tunnel through terrain. So that's kind of interesting that we're lumping all the digging tasks together first. Although it does make a certain sort of... I think this pack is probably really interested in grouping things. As with the digger... The basher stops when there is no more terrain in front of it. You may already have noticed in the last level that a gray shadow indicates the effect of each selected skill in the panel while hovering the mouse over a living. Yeah, so you have the little pathways that will show you just where your uh, bashing and stuff is going to end up. So we go through here. Yeah, this will be a successful tunnel. No reason why it wouldn't be. And there's nowhere to scroll in this level, so we just got to let it go. I'm just going to let this one fly. Alright, so they go up into here. One is going to turn around, but that's okay. They're all safe in this little uh, marble sanctuary that they've got here. Hooray. Okay, so we bash through we bash through the little thin poles of the little checkerboard wall here. I like the uh, 
I like the aesthetic effect that that makes. Alright, so I wonder if there are any talismans in this pack. I did not think to check. That would be uh, kind of interesting if there were. But I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And through there for the win. So we get the rest of them through and that level is down easy like sugar. There we go. We did it. We rescued every lemming. So I bet next up we're going to be seeing miners. I bet we could get fence and mine for a diagonal line. There we go. Everything rhymes. It's about time. Five, 15 lemmings. Only got to save five. Uh, this looks scarier than it is probably. So fencers and miners are two more terrain removal skills. Fencers create a diagonal tunnel upwards through the terrain. Miners do the same thing, but a downwards direction. We will recall fencers. We saw fencers in Lemmings too, but in Neo Lemmings, they make a their their tunnel makes a sharper incline. Like in Lemmings two, it was a very shallow upward tunnel, but it's it's a bit steeper of an incline that a fencer makes in Neo Lemmings, if I recall correctly. Miners do the same thing in a downward direction. Their angles are the same, but miners create a bigger tunnel. Hint. You may want to avoid the lava pits in this level. Lemmings don't like fire and lava. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to get close up to the volcano. That sounded like a fun time to me. Okay, so what have we got here? Okay, so we got... Okay, so we're going to want to fence up through here. So let's see just how... Let's see just how big... Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a big... That's almost like a 45 degree angle. Yeah, see, this is a way sharper incline than you get from Lemmings too. so... That's something to get used to with Neo Mix. So, so we'll be thinking about that any time that we employ fencers. And then we just want to mine down through to here. We're just going in a big old circle, basically. So, yeah, I think we might be able to get through... Uh, I think getting through all of skills in one video might be a fairly big ask. But it might be also kind of worthwhile to do. Just to... I guess it depends on how long this runs. So let's go ahead and boop down into there i hope i did not just uh mine my way into wherever this lava and okay good very nice all right so we're gonna walk up through there and then we're gonna fence our way to victory hooray we're gonna wait till we get right up against the wall here there we go that's perfect all right so we got to remember that the fencer in neo Limix, uh digs way more upwardly so there we go one straggler coming in and there we go let's go ahead and skip to the end there our first journey i'm sure of many out of hell in this pack so here we go next level we're making it through the skills just fine i think i'm making it so far climb up hang on get along so what are we going to be seeing here i'm sure the little summit three lemmings only got to save two of them though interesting now I've got two more skills, Climbers and Shimmiers. The Climber is a permanent skill that stays with the Lemming until he dies or exits the level. Climbers climb up straight walls until they either reach an edge or hit their head. If they hit their head, they fall back down. Shimmiers jump up and try to reach a ceiling. If they're successful, they go along the ceiling until they reach a two or more pixel height difference. Lemmings die if they fall 64 or more pixels in height good to remember so we have 12 shimmiers here all right so what's what's going on here in the neighborhood all right so they're gonna shimmy along the incline here uh let's see how do we want to do this one two three i think we ought to be able to save all three so let's go ahead and go with it okay all right so they're gonna jump up to here okay so they they will never meet a more than two pixel difference here, so they should... Alright, here we go. There we go. Oh, and we even get a line to tell us that they will shimmy successfully across. That's pretty cool. Alright, so here they come. Okay, so once they get to here, they'll fall off. Very good. They go up through the chain here. There we go. Alright. And then we just do the same thing here. Yep. All right, nice little, nice little incline line. It'll tell us that they'll successfully go all the way to here. All right, so then they go to here, and then we do the same thing here. Okay, so we should only need 
Let's see. Okay, we're gonna have to do this in a bit. This is a bit of a tighter spot here. So here we go. But I think we can go ahead and save everyone. Uh, but we're gonna have to get tight right here. Oh no. Oops. Oh gosh. Boy, I'm just wasting my shimmyers here. Good thing I had a few extras. All right. That was a that was a bit of a tighter spot, but still not too scary. So there we go. We've got climbers and shimmyers out of the way. Our time taken is a minute 18. We only needed two, but we got all three. Good for us. Block and blow in the snow. 25 lemmings only got to save five. So blockers and bombers. Bombers, of course, work a little differently in the Olympics. They don't have a time limit. That kind of eliminates what they used to do in lemmings where you would have walking bombers that you would have to detonate at a certain point and it just made for, you know, artificial challenge in a way that wasn't always the most fun. Curtains up for blockers and bombers. Blockers who turn around any lemmings. Blockers turn around any lemmings who walk into them. Blockers can't return to walking without help. They do their duty until the very end, like when they are exploded by the bomber skill, for example. Uh, in neo lemmings, they can also be freed by turning them into walkers, but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. The bomber explodes any lemming which is assigned to it on the spot. The explosion creates an egg-shaped crater in the process, which also removes terrain. And we are back to calling them bombers, not exploders. Thank goodness. I was That was a little tiresome. Okay, so... Alright, so they'll splatter if they fall from here. So we get this whole idea where they... Okay, so we don't really have to make... Okay, here we go. We don't have to make blockers and bombers in the, uh, in the snow here. I'm gonna wait till I get, uh, let's say here. Really want to get them down in there. As long as we're quick on the draw, nobody will turn back around. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, and then let's get them over to this very dangerous looking, but actually quite innocuous icicle. There we go. Very good. Everything is going according to plan. Actually, let's go one more on the... Let's go one more on the just the walking bombers here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what we want. That's a little better. There we go. Yeah, and then they all just reroute toward the exit. So then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and skip to the end here. The last one gets in, and then we'll nuke the rest without even using our bombers. Been a while since I used the old nuke button. There we go. Only three. Only three, I think, were remaining on screen. And we rescued 16 lemmings. Very nice. Much more than the minimum five that we needed. But these are just skill levels. They're not supposed to be hard. They're just supposed to teach us the basics. It's always good to have a little bit of a refresher every now and then. A float, a glide. Puts any abyss aside. So we have floaters in lemmings, but we also have gliders. Gliders are an entirely new skill to Neo Lemmings. Eight lemmings. Gotta save six. A whopping 75%. Let's talk about floaters and gliders. Yes, let's. The floater is a permanent skill which allows a lemming to survive long falls to the ground. The glider is similar, but the lemming glides down in a diagonal line. Both skills save the lemming from splatting immediately after the assignment. A lemming can either be a, flider, a floater or a glider, but never both. It cannot be a flighter. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we got here. We got four and four. So, all right. So let's just uh, split it up then. The first four can be floaters, and the second four can be gliders to show us what's up. And then we'll fly diagonally. They'll probably hit over on that, and then yeah, they'll come this way. So we get to see a little bit of their trajectory. Very nice. All right, those trajectories are very useful. We're going to be using those in conjunction with pausing uh, a lot. So they float past the exit, but that's okay because they'll walk back toward it. There we go. All eight lemmings saved. We did not screw anything up whatsoever. We did very well indeed. So let's move on. Okay, we're moving pretty quick through this. I think we might want to take the time to just get through all... We're on skills seven... Mm, why don't we go ahead and why don't we go ahead and stop after skill seven? I know that doesn't make for very long, but that gets us halfway through skills, and then we can introduce the other skills next time. Building flat and building high. 
30 lemmings. Only got to say five in this one. I think a bunch of them might be plummeting into the water. Now to the very crucial builder and platformer skills. Builders build a 12-step diagonal bridge upwards. Platformers create a flat, straight line of bricks without gaining any height. They can only be assigned when they act, can actually place bricks in front of them. If either skill builds against a wall or the lemming hits his head, he will stop the task and turn around. The last three steps on both skills are indicated by a clicking sound. Do not be discouraged by losing a few lemmings if you can afford it. That's right. We can we can pay for things out of our life total if we need to. That's quite all right. But we'll see what we can do. How much is it really going to take to uh, fill in these gaps? We could probably go ahead and uh, let's save as many as we can still. Okay, they're coming out slowly, so we want to use platformers to get across here. All right, so you are going to go here. Very nice. Okay, yeah, somebody is going to turn around eventually, but... You know, we can save everybody for the time being, so I don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, oh, one went in the water. But it is entirely possible to save all of them. Uh, just that one got a little finicky. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. And you'll notice that it's just a flat line here in Neo Limix. The bricks do not have dimension and heft like they did in like they did in Lemmings 2, the tribes. I think the same thing is going to happen here. And, oh, one pixel of death. Oh, my gosh. But it's okay. We only have to save five Lemmings. And the release rate is low enough. Now nobody is going to die. Now, now we're going to get them all out of here. And this is where pausing comes in handy. Because we have Lemmings going to the left, Lemmings going to the right. I think we may want to start building from actually a little farther back than that. All right, there we go. And if we push three at the right time, like if we start building and we push our 170 frames forward button, he gets right to the end of his bridge. And it helps make building super untedious, which is very nice. Okay, all right. I pushed the wrong thing. I actually wanted to push pause there. All right, so we want to get up on top of here. It's pretty much all regular builders from here to the exit. We just use platformers to get under this bit of low overhead. I think that might be close enough to do it in one. That would be very convenient. I would appreciate that a lot. So go ahead and bip on up. No, they're not going to... Oh, yes, they do walk up past that. Wow, frankly, I'm amazed. So, all right, go ahead and do that. Yeah, this is a pretty easy build all the way to the end. So I think we're going to go from... Okay, let's go from here. Let's play it safe. Okay, and one more. There we go. And everybody walks to the end pretty safely. No traps that I can see. It's just a pretty simple building exercise. So yeah, you have your platformers that go out straight. And your builders that curve upward ever so delightfully. So there they go making their way to the exit and yeah this does end up being i think a pretty good place pretty nice even keeled place to stop for the day so we are doing pretty well with the skills so far but we still have several more to learn and we will get the remainder of those out of the way next time this is going to be i think a pretty easy pack but it's just going to get me prepared for neo Limix. and i think in some roundabout way it might even also prepare me for, I don't know, kind of the, kind of some of the mind tricks that certain level developers like to deploy. I don't know. It might, I, I feel like it might also give me insight into the way some folks think about designing levels. I don't know. That could just sound like a bunch of horse hockey, but... Here we are. We're doing Neo Limix, the introductory pact. Join us next time when we sign it in blood.